Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Town Square Media and 1061 Kiss FM proudly bring to you your podcast champions of the world. He's the R to the O to the B. I'm S-T-E-V-E. We are your host with the most, bringing you everything wrestling related from post to post. Post to post is the name of the game. We've got your bonus episode this week. This one, Steve, uh, threw out there and I thought it was a cool idea. Yep, yeah, um, a man Rob's going to celebrate a birthday in the middle of next week. And although we will have the Raw review show, I wanted an episode dedicated to Raw. All right. Um, I've always been a fan of Facebook, and if you remember MySpace, um, the surveys. So I came up with 20 questions for Mr. Rob here, all wrestling related because this is post to post. And they're kind of vague, so they're up to his interpretation, and we're just uh, going to let him answer them. I haven't heard these questions yet. I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and thank you for the birthday shout outs. Yes, of course. Um, number one, what is your favorite theme music? Of all time? Of all time. My favorite theme music of all time, I'm glad you asked, um, uh, Triple H, It's My Time, the one okay. he used when he was awesome. with China, like yes. Man Helmsley era time, yes. with the green letters and um, that one with the flashing purple and green lights in his entrance. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. One of my favorites as it, well. It originally didn't have vocals, but then it did have vocals, and that's my all-time yeah. favorite. Close runners up include uh, NWO, uh, Shawn Michaels, DX, uh, all great theme songs. Nice. Um, number two, what, is, what do you consider to be the coolest outfit on a wrestler? Uh, well, you know, I guess, I don't know if it's maybe the coolest, but the one I find myself creating, whether it be um, like, in video, like in wrestling video games or like in rock band, I always go with a pink and black motif because of the hitman Bret Hart. Awesome. Um, I loved his specifically neon shade of pink. That he went with. So uh, I hate to say it just because he's my favorite wrestler. And if I sat and thought about it, there might be more like... I like when Shawn Michaels used like the chain mail kind of stuff. Yeah. With the mirrors and the peace sign. Yeah. And Shawn, Shawn I, I, as you've probably seen on Facebook, I used to try to dress like Shawn. So Shawn's a close second. Nice. Um, number three. What diva has the breast body? Right now, I would say... Um, it's Eve, I forget, Eva, Eva Mar the redhead. Eva Marie. Eva Marie, yeah, right. Nice. Uh, the one from Total Divas, I think, is the best looking one on Total Divas. Uh, if we're going strictly by breasts, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, was, I, I became a man watching Sunny, no, and I always feel like um, she, she was something special. Um, oh, and also, um, I like that the Marie, the one who won a, the, the Diva search. Or not Marie, um... Um, she, she was on, she was in Playboy, um... Ashley Massaro? No. Oh, uh, Maria, um... Maria, Maria. I can't think of her last I, name, but yeah. I'm bad with diva names. Yeah. <laughs> Maria Canellis or something? Yeah, some, you're close. You're yeah. closer than I would have gotten. She was, she was nice. All right. Oh, uh, but, I mean, honestly, if, I don't know if you're asking about breasts or best, but Stacey Keebler was in a league of her own, Tori Wilson, and Trish Stratus also. I mean, yeah, there's been some lovely ladies. All right. Um, number four, your favorite entrance of a wrestler? Um... Well, I mean, I, when I think of entrance, I guess I think of the music first. Uh, I love how the NWO would go black and white okay. uh, with their entrance. Not the same for Vaude Villains, but NWO had a cool entrance. DX yeah. had a cool entrance, yeah. especially back when it was like uh, Triple H, X-Pac, and the New Age Outlaws, how it would flash back to like the, the Rage footage yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, there are some good, great entrances there. All right. Um, what do you consider to be the best or your favorite on the mic, strictly mic work? Um, okay, um, here, you know what, I'm going to say this. Okay. Paul Heyman. Oh, wow. Paul, oh, yeah, when you think of managers. Okay. Yeah, but, um, he's a guy that, like, sometimes if I'm on the radio and I get fired up about something and uh, I'm in a bad mood about it or cranky about it, I, I feel like I try to channel him sometimes. Okay, awesome. Uh, so we're talking about, like, yeah, that kind of stuff, that's who I would say. Nice, okay. Uh, on the other side of that same coin, best entering performer. Just strictly wrestling or performance in the ring. That is the easiest one of all time. Uh, the Hitman Bret Hart. Okay. Had awesome. the best matches between the ropes. If he had a downfall, it was his mic work. But in the ring, the guy was by far better than anybody else. Yep. One thing I always respected about Bret Hart is that he never injured an opponent. Mm -hmm. No one ever got injured wrestling him. His matches had so much sense to them. Psychology, every move made sense. It fed into a different move. Uh, every one of my favorite matches, like the top ten, are all Bret Hart matches. They're nice. just, he's just so much better than everybody else to me. Nice. 
Um, erase one performer from wrestling history. You know, they, they do Benoit because of what he's done, and Hulk Hogan's been partially erased. Rob, you erase one person from wrestling history. But I tell you, I want to I want to go through these questions in the future, like next week, and have thought about these. Okay. Um, era- um, w- what if I say Goldberg? Okay. Uh, you know, I don't agree with that. Um, <laughs> boy, there's there's been. Can I pass on that? God, there's so many good okay. choices. Yeah. Um, let's see. What wrestler is the closest in a portrayal of you, or which one do you feel like you're most like? That's a great question. See, like I feel like I need to think about uh, some of some of these. With, yeah, this with, is exactly why I didn't want you to pre-think about them. I wanted your on-the-spot answers. Well, um, man, <laughs> let me come back to that one too. Okay, I'll come back to it. All right. Um, what has been the best uh, fan-made sign that you've seen? Um, one that's like stuck with you over time. Nothing interesting. Turn raw on. That held up at a Nitro event. Nice. Jumps out at me. <laughs> okay. Um, a favorite favorite stable, four people or more. I don't really consider three-man tag team um, stables, so I, that's why I chose the number four or more. Um, Degeneration X, when it was X-Pop, Triple H, and the New Age Outlaws with All China. Right. Nice. Um, Attitude Era DX. Sweet. Uh, most shocking moment that you've witnessed. Not necessarily live on, t- you know, but live when it happened. Oh, in the building? Uh, you don't have to actually be in the building. You could have been watching on TV. Okay, um, that would be the end of the Monday Night War when when Vince uh, held the future of WCW in his very hands. Okay, that deal. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> uh, similar to that, most cringeworthy moment. Most cringeworthy moment. Oh well. Um, the worst match of all time that aired on like a major television show. Uh, I was actually in the building for it. And the most cringeworthy match, at least, is um, watching Jackie Gata and. Um, tr- okay, the people were Jackie Gata, Trish Stratus, JBL, and Chris Nowinski. Oh, wow. I guess it was Nowinski and Gata v- versus. Bradshaw, you, you know, you have to know the match I'm talking about. I'm not sure. Uh, oh man, uh, I was at a Philadelphia Raw. It's like re- it's like regarded in in like many online circles as being oh, wow. the worst match <laughs> of all time. So uh, that was you. If you have to find this match, okay. I'll make sure I find it. All right. It was at a 2002 Summer Raw in Philadelphia. So that should help us find it. All right. Um, next, uh, number thirteen, worst tag team ever. It's up to your interpretation. If you want to do ever, go for it. Uh, I'll just do right now the Ascension. The Ascension okay. offers nothing. All right. Um, your favorite pay-per-view of the year, which one do you look forward to the most? WrestleMania. Okay. Yeah, WrestleMania has a whole feel and excitement about it. Um, if I remember hearing correctly, you used to backyard wrestle? A little bit. Uh, what was your backyard wrestling name? I had several. Um, my championship one was Hunter Hearst Hirschbuehl. My Arts. Intercontinental Championship one was The Rob, which is how I got my stage name in radio. Uh, I also had a uh, curtain drinking character known as Kid Rob, who used Kid Rock theme song and wrestled in a life beater. Nice. Um, I was, um, I had, I've had a lot. Hardcore Hirschbill was the, <laughs> the hardcore character. So yeah, there's been, it's been a few. Nice. Um, what is your favorite finisher? Um, the Diamond Cutter slash RKO. Okay. Nice. I like that, too, because it can come out anywhere. comes out of nowhere, yeah. and it always is special. Um, what one thing upsets you more than anything in wrestling? Um, when they forget to try to be real. When they, when they, when we for, when they make us forget. Like, when, when you're watching something, and it doesn't make any sense. I hate that. Or, like, um, let's say you're watching with somebody who doesn't watch wrestling, and you have to explain to them like why this actually makes sense when it should just yeah. it should just make sense. Yes. You know what I mean? I do. Um, I, I hate having my intelligence insulted. Yes. All right. Um, favorite tag team? Um, the Hardys, Edge and Christian, either of those from that time. Um, I loved what they did. Maybe even the Hardy Boys. I didn't even realize they were my favorite tag team, but they yeah. might be. Yeah, they're, they're pretty awesome. Um, who has been the best authority figure in wrestling? And that's on screen. Um, Vince McMahon. Okay. Easily. Yeah, that, yeah, that was easy enough. Uh, last one. 
What is one thing that may surprise other wrestling fans about you that we don't know? Um, while I do identify as a lifelong wrestling fan, I feel like I'm kind of late to the game. Like, um, I feel embarrassed I wasn't around for the rock and wrestling years. Mm -hmm. uh, I, but I know all about them. I yeah. mean, I've gone back and watched everything, at least everything important. Yeah. Um, and I can, I can hang with a wrestling fan that was watching in the 80s. I did not start watching wrestling until 1994, SummerSlam. And um, I wish I was watching earlier. Yeah. But I would say that's like my biggest confession. Uh, okay. And I like an offer is I've gone back and made up for as much of my missed time as I possibly can. And I was really young. I mean, I was 11 when I started watching. That's not old. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I wish I was watching during the Ultimate Warrior years yeah. and oh, stuff like awesome. that. Yeah. All right, so which, I passed on who would I erase? Yeah, who would you uh, erase one performer from wrestling history? You know, um... I feel here. Let me give a few like names. Like okay. um, I feel like Goldberg didn't do us a lot of favors. Okay. I feel like um, New Jack is a guy who was just um, a danger, like just someone whose whose existence I never appreciated. Yeah. Because he he just wanted to hurt people yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't erase Benoit's timeline. I mean, what he did was terrible. Yeah. Um. So there's that. Um, I almost want to say like. I was going to say Ted Turner, but no, like he provided, like his, his, while he was lazy and just wanted to throw money at a problem, yeah. it kept like wrestling fresh for a long period it of time. Yeah. So yes, there's a few names that I would, I could probably even think of, oh, you know what? Rikishi, I can't, I couldn't stand. Um, yeah, Rikishi's a great choice. Oh, oh. Or, see, I wouldn't erase Dusty. I, Dusty. See, that's what I thought you would say. My least favorite, but you know, I wouldn't erase him. Yeah. Rikishi we could do without, okay. right? There you go. Oh, yeah, that one. So we could do it without him. And then who do I most, uh, what, what run is most what, yeah, what wrestler is the closest portrayal of you, or which do you like the most, um, which are you most like? Okay, um, here. Actually, I feel like um, I identify a lot with Edge, okay. because I read his book, uh, Adam Copeland on Edge, and I kept telling myself, wow, we are really the same. He listened to the same music I did growing up. Wow. Watched the same kind of things. Um, also, when I got to interview The New Day, I felt like I, I really associate with Xavier Woods. Okay. I kind of thought that uh, Kofi was the video game player in the locker room. And I found out differently. It turns out it's Xavier. Yeah. Uh, the dude is always crowbarring video game references into his <laughs> promos. And I bet you if I were on the roster today... Uh, he'd be a guy I was traveling with, Xavier Woods, yeah, and, and the that. New Day guys, personally. Yeah. Um, I'm a guy who relies more on his wit and his words than his physical ability, which I kind of associate as like a Roddy Piper type. Yeah. Uh, was more of a talker than a, a, than a, you know, a, a body, so to speak. Um, and I was, I'm also, like, I'd probably be funny in, um, in not like a Santino kind of way, but maybe like a Y2J kind of way. Okay, yeah. So those are all people I would associate with. How'd right. I do? Are those okay? I think you did awesome. Yeah. yeah. I just kind of let everybody know a little bit more about who Rob is. I know you, li you listen to him Monday through Friday, 6 to 10. You know, you should. Listen if you're not, him. we have to consider our friendship. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just I wanted to give you a little tribute show. Your birthday is next week, well, thank and I'll, you. I'll be around to officially wish you happy birthday. But thank you very much for post to post. This is it. Awesome. Well, Steve, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Monday's episode. We'll talk about Raw and everything that happened. I appreciate the birthday shoutouts for myself, the Rob, the birthday boy, and my tag team partner Steve. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs>